Stacy Superstar. From the moment she made her grand entrance into the world on the day she was born, Stacy Clogg believed she was destined for stardom. By the age of 10, the girl was convinced she should be the biggest star who ever lived. In her mind, she'd had it all planned out. Stacy would reach the very top of the entertainment world, sell millions of albums and be showered with awards. Then, she would play herself in a five-hour movie of her own life, entitled quite simply, Stacy Clogg, The Myth Behind the Legend. In her own lifetime, a huge gold statue of herself would be erected in her hometown and a museum set up in her honour, the Clog Museum. The Clog Museum would not house any clogs. Instead, it would contain Stacy's personal collection of gowns, awards, and of course, photographs of herself wearing the gowns and holding the awards. This would ensure she would remain famous for centuries after her passing, celebrated until the end of time and beyond. There was just one problem. Stacy had no talent. When she tried to sing, the noise she made was ear-torchingly painful. It wasn't so much singing, more wailing. Despite her poor parents spending every penny they had on singing lessons for her fame-hungry daughter, Stacy never got any better. In fact, she just got worse. Every time the girl practiced her singing, something terrible would happen. Once in her music class at the top of her school, her teacher leaped out of the window with his hands over his ears and fell five floors. When he was found on the ground, he had a look of relief on his face. When Stacy took on a huge ballad in the kitchen, her mother screamed and begged her daughter to stop. And when the girl refused and just started singing louder, the woman hid deep in the freezer. It took weeks to thaw her out. If she practiced in her bedroom, Stacy's goldfish, Beyonce, would leap out of its bowl and her hamster, Mariah, would leap in. Singing in the bath one night, all the tiles exploded off her walls. Performing Christmas carols at a school assembly, the headmistress hit the fire alarm and the school was evacuated. Strolling in the woods and humming to herself, trees would fall behind her hitting a particularly high note in a love song one night at a local community hall for a group of thankfully deaf old ladies, their cups smashed, showering tea all over them. Practicing scales with her music tutor one afternoon, the lady dived into her grand piano and shut the lid tight. Forced to rehearse in the bottom of her back garden, the shed somehow set itself alight and burnt to the ground. Standing alone on the top of a hill, as soon as Stacy began singing, a flock of birds fell out of the sky and landed dead at her feet. However, nothing could stop Stacy believing she was the world's greatest singer. She was right, and everyone else was wrong, especially her goldfish. So one day, Stacy decided to enter a TV talent show. She was sure that this would be her first step to stardom. The girl's mother and father begged their daughter not to audition for the ego factor. They knew it would only lead to disaster. Stacy might as well cause the judges and audience to scream for her to stop. Or, even worse, laugh at her for singing so awfully. Are you crazy? protested the girl. Stacy Clogg is a winner! You are Stacy Clogg, said mother. Said Stacy Clogg. And I, Stacy Clogg, will be crowned the greatest singer of all time, live on TV. Father tried a gentle approach. But my darling, what if you just had uh, an off day? Stacy Clogg does not have an off day. Thundered Stacy Clogg. But you are Stacy Clogg. Repeated Mother. I know, you fool. My audition will be a triumph. It will be forever remembered as the first step on Stacy Clogg's journey to superstardom. No, megastardom. No, hyperstardom. Just really, 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 really big stardom. Has there ever been a time when Stacy Clogg hasn't had an incredible reaction when she sings? For the last time, you are... But before the Mother could finish her sentence, Father stepped in. No, my dearest daughter, in 
D. The reaction has been one of total incredulity. Exactly, repeated the girl. Stacy Clogg knows as soon as Stacy Clogg sings live on TV, Stacy Clogg will become the most famous in the world has ever known. Oh no, murmured father. Of all time. I thought you would finish. Forever and ever. Finished now. And ever. The girl thought for a moment. Yes, Stacy Clogg has finished. The decision had been made. So forms were filled in, phone calls were made, and a very expensive designer gown was bought for Stacy by selling them the family car. Finally, the night of the audition came, and after weeks of non-stop rehearsing, Mother had gone to live at the North Pole. So Father took his daughter to the theatre on the bus. Her dress was so huge it took up the entire back row. As Stacy swept onto the stage, Father waited anxiously in the wings. What's your name? asked the head judge, Tyson Trowell. He was a very vain man, despite being at least 90 years old. Tyson had a strange orange spray-on tan, glow-in-the-dark teeth, and a wig that sat atop his head like a crouching badger. This was the kind of man who wore sunglasses inside, in the dark. There were three other judges, but he paid them to sit there and looked pretty and never speak. The ego factor was all about Tyson. Stacy Clogg, replied the girl. It's a name nobody will forget after tonight. The audience all murmured to each other. Who was this girl with the huge ego? Tyson Trowell had a short memory. Sorry, what was your name again? Stacy Clogg. So, Stacy Clogg, what are you going to sing for us today? announced the girl. It's about the great love of your life. Who will you be thinking of when you sing it? Asked Tyson. Me, replied Stacy. The audience laughed. Even Tyson Trowell, who couldn't even walk past a mirror without admiring himself in it, smirked. So, so sorry, what was your name again? Stacy Clogg. The girl was becoming irritated with the little man now. So, Stacy Clogg. You any good? Humbly, Stacy Clogg is the greatest singer of all time. The audience giggled again. There had been some big-headed people auditioning on the show before, but this girl was off the scale. What was your name again? Stacy Clogg! Stacy Clogg, the stage is yours. The lights dimmed, and a spotlight picked out the girl and her huge dress, which made her look like a giant meringue. Father had been listening backstage to his daughter, growing increasingly red with embarrassment. Now it was his moment. Stacy had given her father a simple task. He was to play the backing CD for her to sing to when he, she nodded in his direction. However, to save his daughter from complete and utter humiliation, live on television, the man had a secret plan. He'd swapped the backing CD, with no singing on it, to one with a famous singer performing the song. And just as Stacy was about to burst into song, he planned to pull the plug on his daughter's microphone so nobody in the theatre or at home watching it on television could hear her. That way, it would seem as if Stacy Clogg had a fantastic voice, instead of the one that sounded like someone dragging their nails down a blackboard. Stacy took a deep breath and nodded to her father. He then pressed play on the CD player, remembering to put in the right CD with this superstar already singing on it. When no one backstage was looking, the man yanked the plug on her microphone out of the wall by wrapping the lead around his foot. The music swelled. Stacy opened her mouth to sing, and the judges, the audience in the theatre, and the millions of people watching their TVs at home heard the most magical sound. Immediately, the judges were all applauding, and the audience was on its feet. Stacy Clogg had the voice of a superstar, or so they thought. Father put the volume of the music up as loud as it would go, so it would drown out his daughter's wails. As for Stacy, she was completely oblivious to her father's deception. This was exactly the reaction she'd have been expecting from the start. Complete worship of her talent. In her mind's eye, Stacy began to see her destiny. Her own private plane, Air Clogg One. 
a chauffeur-driven Rolls-Royce picking her up on the tarmac to whisk her off to the stadium. A hundred white kittens to play with backstage before a show. The audience of thousands on their feet before she'd even sung a note. The biggest diamonds in the world dangling from her ears. Ten costume changes during each song. The stage knee-deep in flowers at the end of the concert. Backstage, Father was smiling to himself. His plan couldn't be working any better. However, his smile dropped just as disaster struck. Just as the song reached a crescendo, Stacy stamped her foot and the CD stuck. The voice on the CD repeated a word over and over again. Love, 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 love. The, the audience realised they'd been fooled. Suddenly, they were very, very angry. The girl was a cheat. The booze became deafening. Boo! 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 Sensing this was great entertainment and brilliant for ratings, Tyson Trowell spoke up. Audience, please, shut it. The audience obeyed him. Nah, sorry. What was your name again? Stacy Clock. Stacy Clock. Why don't you sing for us without any musical accompaniment? No, pleaded her father. Yes, replied Stacy. This is the moment that will be remembered forever as the birth of a superstar. Excellent, murmured Tyson, rubbing his hands in glee. The girl took a deep breath. Her father winced and put his fingers in his ears. Immediately, a sound so unbearable that you would rather spend eternity being given a wedgie than listen to it for one more second. Ah! 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 Screamed the audience. The noise was so horrendous that Tyson Trowell's wig flew off. The girl, as always, just carried on. Stacy hit a particularly high note. It was so piercingly high that a crack shot across from the theatre. <coughs> a giant chandelier fell to the floor. <coughs> the walls started wobbling <coughs> and the audience screamed and ran for their lives. Tyson desperately tried to find his wig and was crushed under the tons of debris. No! <coughs> Dust was thrown up into the air as though there'd been an actual explosion. <coughs> All of this was captured live on television until people's TV screens turned black as the cameras were destroyed Arr. before the entire theatre collapsed. <laughs> it was a momentous night in the history of entertainment, one that would never, ever be forgotten. So Stacy's dream did come true. The girl became wildly famous, though for being the worst singer in the world rather than the best. The only positive note was that Stacy had hospitalised Tyson Trowell and he couldn't be back on TV for a whole week. Although the theatre had completely collapsed and although there were thousands of tons of rubble, Father refused to give up on the search for his daughter. And after days and nights of digging with his bare hands, he finally found her. Stace! The man exclaimed, tears in his eyes. The girl's dress had been ripped to shreds. Her mouth was dry with dust and she was covered from head to toe in dirt. When the man tearfully dragged his daughter out of the rubble, her first words were, 